Hey guys, this is my, uh, I've been playing with this tonight, my wind turbine machine beast. <clears throat> and I've had some progress on uh, the gears because the top chain wheel that you can see there, uh, I'd basically welded one on but it was really bent. Uh, after I'd welded it and it didn't last, so basically I've put a new one on. And so that's actually, it's important to mention, that's the largest gear wheel off the rear, a normal rear bike cassette. I would show you one if I had one. Uh, the place is a bit of a mess, you know me. But anyway, I want to show you this because it's pretty cool. So yeah, even, uh, well yeah, sorry, I'm dilly-dallying, aren't I? So basically this turns this which is a <clears throat> I bought some cheap electric bike shears for a hundred quid and I've got two motors and some other stuff so basically it's just mounted in there like that uh, power cables two bolts at the back two bolts at the front when I find another bolt and it works like this it's basically really simple but that that motor doesn't want to turn okay it's uh it's quite chunky and it does take some turning so as I've got it on the highest uh, gear we're going to create the most uh, power possible hopefully so we can tell here it's a 36 volt motor uh, it's 26 inch 36 volt yeah it's just a normal sort of DC e-bike hub but I reckon it's going to be pretty good because that's a very simple system. That's using a scrap a bike hub, which just happened to be 5 8 which is what the uh, spindle is. So basically, it's held in by that. I say basically a lot. But anyway, you can see the crank it by hand. Quite slowly, uh, we're making that. Sorry, it's actually quite hard to hold the camera stable. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's going to get... When I put it up the other day, it got 58, and that wasn't even on that higher gear. It was on the second gear in, so... Hopefully, tomorrow we'll get some wind, and then we can uh, do this. So yeah, progress. Peace out. Bye.